Hello, my name is Jeremy Schmutz, and I'm the leader of the plant program at the Department of Energy's Joint Genome Institute, and I'm also a faculty member at the Hudson Alpha Institute for Biotechnology in Huntsville, Alabama. The mission of the JGI plant program is to work with the Department of Energy funded groups to develop next generation cellulosic biofuels. One of the most recent projects that we've completed, which is being published in Nature magazine this, this month, is looking at the genome of something that's called Gossipian Irmundii. Um, and that's actually a uh, cotton. And cotton, you think about this, it's a, it's a crop that grows out in the field and it produces fibers. And it turns out that those fibers are actually nearly pure cellulose. And the reason that we're interested in that is because we're interested in understanding how that cellulose is formed, how the plant converts light energy into cellulose. And we want to know that because we want to understand how cellulose is deposited in our other plants of interest for bioenergy purposes, including things like switchgrass or miscanthus. There are several additional traits that we hope to be able to improve in the cotton genome using the genomic resources that we've created. One of these is increasing cotton's drought tolerance so that we can have increased water conservation and not use as much water to grow our cotton as we currently do. One of the other traits of the cotton that would be very helpful for production is to increase the cotton's natural disease and pest resistance so that we don't need to use as many pesticides that we currently put on cotton fields. This is just one of the many projects that we're working on at the Joint Genome Institute in order to facilitate the development of alternative fuel sources and also to better understand the environment and how we interact with it.